Hi guys, Technical Gamer here, and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you the next maps for Call of Duty Ghost in the Devastation map pack. Um, the Devastation map pack will be available on April 3rd uh, for Xbox users. I don't know about the PS3 users or anything like that, um, but it's really, really good. You get four uh, maps as usual. You get the Ripper as well, which is a DLC gun, and I'll speak to you about that in a little while. And then you get um, a extra kind of add-on to um, extension as well. So um, the first map which you'll see on screen now is called Behemoth. I don't know if I said that right, but um, obviously it's it's weird. So yeah, um, it's situated in Colombia, and I'll just tell you a little bit about it. Behemoth is a narrow, multi-leveled map, giving players flanking opportunities with danger around every corner. Um, completing the map's field orders will take control of an attack helicopter available to rain down destruction from above with devastation grenades launchers. So basically, uh, you you know that when you get those little kind of car like carrier packs or like the little blue suitcase things, um, you basically once you get that and if you complete it, you should be able to. It's like a KEM kind of thing, I think. Um, if you get a KEM kind of icon, I think you can take control of an attack helicopter and start literally fucking shit up. Um, and then after that, uh, yeah, it's really, really good. Um, you'll see on the screen right now, it kind of looks like um, a construction yard. Um, and it's kind of, I think you can jump off the map if you really want to. And it's under kind of, it's in kind of a sea kind of, it looks like the volcano's gone off and completely destroyed everything and it looks like um, a mining kind of place to basically dig down and uh, all that kind of stuff but it looks really really good and um, I'm really looking forward to this map um, it looks quite big um, I don't know if it's um, kind of as like it looks like it has a middle section and um, two sides so I don't know if the middle section will be like, like a uh, kind of capture flag kind of thing or I don't know. It'll be it'd be pretty cool if they added like game modes like that kind of blitz would be pretty fun to play on this map as well. Uh, the next one is called Ruins and it is situated in Mexico. And um, basically, it looks kind of grassy, and um, it kind of looks like um, you'll see on the, on the screen now. Uh, you it kind of looks earthy and it looks like everything's overgrown and all that. And yeah. Um, it looks really weird. Um, it basically, I'll read a little bit about it now. Um, a mountain top Mayan ra ruins, um, overrun by a jungle ruins skyline is dominated by an, an. I can't really say that, but yeah, a volcano, a volcano, on the brink of eruption. Uh, this map blends uh, with versatility and. Um, different types of flank routes which give it a multi-story look so basically yeah uh, it you've got kind of two different uh, kind of heights so uh, you can kind of flank around and all that and basically it looks like it's overgrown and I think it, they might add in that um, when you uh, get a KEM kind of thing um, it might set off the volcano and um, basically screw everything up and start killing all the other team uh, but it looks really really fun to play on and uh, the ghillie suit you probably want to use on this map because you can just blend in uh, crap loads and uh, not be seen at all um, but yeah the next map is called Under Earthed um, it is classified so I don't actually know where it is um, and it is inspired by Dome so um, the fan favourite map from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 um, it looks really really good it looks like I was like a massive stone in the middle um, and they're doing that kind of work to it and yeah basically it's really really cool um, I think it's gonna have that kind of layout or dome if you look on the map um, you'll see on a picture on the screen now um, of it and um, I'll put the link in description if you want to see um, the whole page I'm looking at right now um, it looks really cool and yeah basically um, I'll tell you a little bit about it. Under Earth drops players into a heart of alien dig site. Uh, so I think that's the stone that they found out and uh, looks all alien eyes and all that. 
Uh, it's a small map that asks players to navigate through uh, cryptid and artifacts and mix with high tech his mat uh, f facilities. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, it, lo it looks really, really cool. I think it's going to be kind of modernized so it's going to have kind of vehicles everywhere. Um, and uh, it'd be pretty cool if you can like um, climb on top of them and kind of get higher up in the map. So it has like, you'll see on the screen now, it ha kind of has like construction work and scaffolding and all that. I wish you can get on top of that. Um, I don't know. Uh, obviously, I'm only just looking at a picture, so I don't know what's going to happen. The next one is called um, Collision, and it is based in New York. Um, and it looks like the Golden Gate Bridge has been completely demolished. And it's kind of like a shipping um, like station kind of put into the side of uh, the Golden Gate Bridge. It looks really, really cool. Um, I know for a fact um, I saw some gameplay of this. Um, I don't know if it was against bots or anything like that. But um, basically you can actually get onto the bridge and all that. And it looks really, really cool. It has multi-levels. And um, I'll read you a little bit about it now. Uh, it says... Um, a mangled remains of a cargo ship crashed into the New New York Bridge, ripped and burnt out vehicles um, and shipping containers uh, through everywhere. So it's basically going to have uh, loads of kind of hiding places for everyone to sit around and basically just camp. Um, it's going to obviously be um, kind of it's it's a small map, so and it's going to be really really cool. Um, and I'll put a uh, is another thing that says um, unlock the maps uh, unique kill streak by completing a field also with the little suitcase thing again, um, and use the full arsenal of a A10. So I think that's going to be kind of like an AC130 kind of aircraft. Um, it says an A10 uh, Warthog um, aircraft to strafe the th full length of the map. So it can't be too big. Um, if you can just uh, cover it by using an air aircraft, but um, basically it's going to be like an AC-130. Um, I think they're all going to be kind of accessed using um, a kind of KEM kind of thing. It's going to be really cool though. I'm really looking forward to it. The next thing I want to talk about is the uh, Ripper. If you haven't seen my gameplay already, uh, it basically tells you how to get the Ripper early. And uh, if you want to see that, um, I'll put that at the end of the, this video today. Um, and basically, you can get it early by getting a season pass, but I'm not going to say anything else. It's basically, um, the Ripper is basically a 2-in-1. It's an SMG and an AR. Um, you can switch the SMG's um, rate of fire down if you want to use the AR, and uh, up if you want to use the SMG. Um, it doesn't look that good, um, as in when the sights are up and all that. It has a little bit of kick, but you can get that um, when the map pack, map pack actually comes out. So it's actually really, really going to be good. Um, the next thing is the new extinction map um, or episode two um, called Mayday. Um, it is in the South Pacific um, Tasmanian or Tasman Sea. Um, available on the 3rd of April obviously uh, that's when the whole thing comes out but all I can see on this one I'll show you all the pictures each time I uh, speak about it but um, all I can see on this one is um, just the one of the extinction kind of people or the aliens um, in this one it looks like a massive boss so if you come across this and you want to play it it's literally going to be uh, mayhem it's going to be so sick um, but that's all I know about this um, DLC 2 is called Devastation. If you want to, um, it looks pretty legit on the screen I'm looking right now. It's actually on the Call of Duty website. So if you want to see um, this website, I'll put it on the description. Uh, each time I talk about each part of the maps or different kind of maps, um, I'll put a picture up on the screen. But as always, this is Technical Gamer. I'll see you here. Hi guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video, if you have, please click on screen right now, it will show you how to get early access to the Ripper, instead of waiting till the 3rd of April to get it in the DLC map, um, and basically if you haven't already, please like this video if you've enjoyed, and subscribe to keep up to date with my um, new kind of releases on my videos, and uh, maybe 
kind of some other kind of DLC kind of exclusive stuff that is going to be on my channel. Um, when I get the Xbox One, um, I'll be doing some gameplays and unboxings and all that kind of stuff on it. I don't know when I'm going to get it, so um, I'm not going to kind of release a date yet. Um, follow, like follow my Facebook, uh, no, uh, like my Facebook and uh, follow my Twitter because by following my Twitter, um, it automatically posts a um, video response. So when I've, uh, as soon as I've uploaded, uploaded it will uh, post a link there and you can watch it straight away. So if you've enjoyed this video, please click that like button and subscribe to keep up to date. But as always, this is Technical Gamer and I'll see you in my next video.